In this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite method to pick rich colors for shading your pixel art. This is a game changer and I know you're gonna love it. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in here. I have a little drawing of a little game cube. This, by the way, is just a great thing to draw in pixel art. If you're looking to practice detail and simplifying things, uh, you can draw a game cube that's really high res or really small. And a lot of the things scale really well, which is kind of fun. But this one is about, let's see, it's about 18 pixels high, 13 pixels wide. So kind of a weird little resolution, but I was just kind of drawing this on a bigger canvas. And we're going to talk about how to shade this a little bit, because I haven't done a lot of shading. I've really just kind of put in the features here. And the way that I did it with pretty much all of these darker shades is I color picked whatever color I'm going to make a shade of. And if you double click on the color here, down here where it says foreground color, if I double click like this, that'll bring up these color bars. And if you switch over to HSV, you can take this value slider and just push it straight down. And what that's going to do is just make a darker version of that same color. So here's the original color and here's the darker version. And that will get you exactly scientifically what you want, a darker version of that same color. So if you're just wanting a shade, that's, that's pretty much what I did here is I took this color and then took that value down. Same thing for these little memory card slots. Took this white, took the value down, took the value down some more for the controller ports here. And that's really how everything was made. That's how this little highlight was made. I color picked this purple, double clicked, and then in the HSV sliders, I just pushed up and then took the saturation down a little bit, something like this. That's pretty much how that color was made. And while that's very, very simple, you end up getting art that is only one color, which would seem like it'd be fine, except for it just doesn't, there's just something missing. It just pop off the screen. It just doesn't look so great. In fact, let's finish this up because we really should have this color be darker than the top or the top lighter than that or something. So let's just take this top and make this a little bit lighter. So I'll just push this up a little bit, take the saturation down a touch. And we're really going to want this to be a lighter color like that. So we want a little bit of, and then let's actually take this one down too. We want a little bit of contrast here. I'll just take this down like that. So now we have a bigger contrast between this top and the side, and it definitely looks better than it did. We could even do a trick with this outline to kind of darken the outline here. So I'll take this HSV and push this way down to almost black, something like that. Maybe push the saturation up a little. And now we can take the outlines and just make this really dark purple here. And that'll kind of help with the shading as well. By the way, if you're just getting into pixel art, I don't want you to miss the pixel art fast track. This is a mini course hosted by me and we go over the basics of pixel art. And even if you've never done pixel art before or even any kind of art before, if you know nothing about art, you'll be able to make some really cool stuff at the end of this course. So come hang out with me. There's a link right there. Let's get back to it. So that looks really nice, but I'm gonna copy and paste this here. Control C, Control V, and I'm gonna push this over. There is a major difference between doing what we're doing here and the richness you can get by doing something called hue shifting. So what is hue shifting? So if we go down here to our color picker, just double click on this and bring up these bars. Typically we have RGB, which is red, green, and blue, and an alpha, and that's how you mix your color. If you go over to HSV, you can switch things around by picking the actual color, that's the hue, the strength of the color, which is the saturation, and then the value, which is the brightness of the color. So hue shifting is just taking this hue and moving it a little bit. So we're shifting the hue. And the general idea with hue shifting as far as shading goes is when things get darker, they get more blue. And when they get lighter, they get more yellow. You can think of this like in temperature. If we have a few colors here and we kind of lay out sort of a rainbow, all we're really doing is changing the hue of these colors, but which side looks brighter, the warm side or the cool side? Well, the warm side looks a little bit brighter. And so our eyes kind of accept that when things are brighter, they should be a little bit more warm. Kind of like the sun, right? If you go outside in the sunshine, we always think of the sun as yellow, you know, magic hour, you know, when there's a sunset, it's yellow, sunrise kind of feels yellow. Whereas night, you know, if you watch a movie, the night is cool and it's blue and we think about moonlight and that kind of thing. And it's darker at night and brighter at sunrise. And so things kind of just generally look better if they're bright and warm, dark and cool. And so instead of just making things darker with hue shifting, we make it darker and cool. And so I'm just going to color pick this darker purple and bring up our HSV here. 
But this time I can actually leave the value just the same, but I'm gonna push this towards blue, just the, the shortest path towards blue. I'm just gonna push this a little bit just until I start to notice a difference here. There we go, and I'll hit G to fill that in. Same thing here for the brighter part. Color pick, double click this, go to HSV, and I'm going to go to the shortest path towards yellow, which is actually kind of around the world here. So it's a little bit shorter to go through this way and then this way over to yellow. So I'm just gonna push this a little bit towards more, a little more pink, like that, like that. And so now this is maybe a little bit extreme, but we have cooler shadows and warmer highlights. Same thing here for this white. We have the white here, but when we go to gray, let's go to HSV, let's saturate this a little more, try to make it a little more cool. We're just tinting this ever so slightly blue. These two, let's actually just bring up the saturation, that'll probably help. We're just tinting these just a little blue. These purples are actually gonna work out probably just fine. But look at that difference. This is pretty much the same brightness, but the hue is different. In fact, check this out. I can go up to Edit, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and this is just a master adjustment of the hue and saturation of the entire layer. I can just take the saturation and bring the saturation all the way down and check this out. These look exactly the same. So they're the same brightness, but we just changed the hue a little bit. And the one on the right looks a lot more interesting, a lot more interesting. That also looks like there's more contrast and we really haven't changed a lot of the brightness at all. And that's really the big concept here is when things get darker, they get a little bit more cool. And when things get brighter, they get a little bit warmer. Now I'll show you my favorite trick for doing this. Easiest way to make this happen. I'll just get rid of this and let's let's recolor this one, okay? First thing I am just going to take the saturation all the way down just so we can kind of restart with the general brightnesses, right? So let's go ahead and make this purple. I'm just gonna bring up the saturation here, mix kind of a general purple, something, something kind of like that. I'm gonna put that there. And let's say I like that purple. And now I want to make shades of it. Instead of going into the sliders and messing with the HSV, what I do is here on this kind of rainbow color picker, if I want to make something brighter, I can make it brighter by pushing up and I can shift the hue by moving it around. And so if I want to make this brighter and warmer, I can just go shloop like that. And now I have this brighter thing here. Let's say I want to make it a little brighter than that, brighter up and to the right. Same thing here, down and to the left, down to the left for my other shades. This, I wanna be darker, so I'll bring it down and to the left. And it's gonna be, if, if you're working with green, it would be down and to the right, and brighter would be up and to the left. It's whatever the shortest path is to warm if you're going brighter or cool if you're going darker. Same thing here. So we have this white, I'll bring up the saturation a little bit. When you're making a gray, I like to generally just start a little bit blue. So we'll just kind of do this take this down a little bit. So yeah, something like that. And then again, darker and closer to blue, much darker and closer to blue. Yes. Something like that. In fact, we could probably even use the same one up here, but it's really, really quick. You don't have to open up those sliders. Like let's do this one more time just to cement this in. Let's make some green. Let's make two lighter shades and two darker shades. For this green, I'm going to make it lighter. So I'm going to go up and a little bit warmer, which is towards yellow. And then again, up and towards yellow, that. Same thing for green. Then I'm gonna repick this middle green down and to the right, down and to the right. And look at that. We have this really nice, super easy color palette. Look at all those shades. That looks beautiful. And we just did so, we just didn't do any work. We don't even know anything about colors other than if it gets brighter, it gets warmer. If it gets colder, it gets cooler. And then you have this really nice color palette. So cool. So feel free to use that. Hue shifting is one of the most simple ways to make your shading look even better. Of course, there are advanced things like uh, as you get brighter, you might want to desaturate. Maybe you want to saturate more in the shadows. It's stuff you'll have to play around with depending on the color. Like for instance, some of this is a little bit too bright for me, but you can always go in and change it. That's the nice thing. We talk about this stuff a lot more in the pixel art fast track. So make sure to get that right here. It's available now, totally free. And I'll see you in the next video. I also have a playlist of all my pixel art videos right here. Make sure to check those out. Maybe think about subbing if, uh, if this is your kind of thing. All right. Pixel art, game dev, that kind of thing. Okay. Thanks for stopping by.